This workout is gonna help you build strong arms and a strong midsection. We have 15 minutes today to target the biceps, the triceps, the abs, and the obliques. Plus, we're gonna do it all standing. So we're gonna get right into our very first exercise, which is going to be a cross body curl. So grab heavy dumbbells and let's do this. And you can also start your watch if you wanna help track your workout, but keep a slight bend in the knee. We're gonna go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Really squeeze at the top, contract your bicep muscle, and then control the weight back down. Keeping your elbows pinned into your side. Exhale with the lift. And make sure as you're curling up, make sure those shoulders are rolled down and back. So as you curl up, you don't want your shoulders to come up towards your ears. So the upper body is nice and relaxed. Did you go heavy enough? Decide right now, really make this time count. This is only 15 minutes. Last one, good. Quick recovery, we'll go right back into it. So if you need to adjust your weight, perfect time to do it. Anytime you need to grab a drink, dry off, you can do that as well. We go in 10 seconds, same thing. Here we go, five, three, two, let's begin. Last time for this exercise, so squeeze it out. When you got 15 minutes, we're gonna make every second count. And to really help you maximize each set, or well, yeah, each set and each rep, really focus on the muscle you're working. So biceps, triceps, it's easy to focus on those muscles, especially as you squeeze up, think about it, contract it, and then control it down. Good, almost there. Let's do one more each side. Ooh, last one. Nice job. Next exercise we're going into is going to be a hang curl. So for this exercise, you may need to go down a little bit in weight because this is going to be all on the bicep muscle. So make sure back is flat, core is engaged, we're hinged over at the hips. And you wanna think about making sure that your elbows stay in the same position. So you don't want your elbows to come back or forward with this exercise. Good. And squeeze. So everything stays the same. It's just the forearms and the dumbbells moving up and down. Good. Really squeeze. This is an awesome isolation exercise to really hit that bicep. Last one, squeeze it up, squeeze. Whew. Good, control it down. Nice job. Shake it out, we hit that one more time. All right, we're gonna get ready to go again. So hinge it over, palms away from you, back is flat, slight bend in the knees. Again, just bending that elbow. Here we go. And up, good. And squeeze. Hold it at the top for a second. Make sure you're controlling it down as well. Over halfway, so keep it strong. We're gonna burn out the biceps for this first round. Second round, it's gonna be all about the back of the arm. So that's when we're really gonna hit those triceps. Last one, and squeeze, nice. Whew. Oh, you can really feel that working at that insertion point of your bicep muscle. So you may feel that tomorrow because that one really targets that. Next thing, just the bicep curl. So make sure you're going heavy enough, just that basic bicep curl. So here we go. With this workout today, we are targeting both the short and the long head of the biceps and the triceps. Breathe out with the lift. Keep those elbows pinned into your side. Once your elbow starts to come up and away from your body, you actually start to work the shoulder. So make sure you're keeping those elbows pinned in nice and close. Just about 10 seconds. 
Did you go heavy enough? You have one last set for biceps after this. And that was that. So one more set of biceps. Make sure you're going heavy enough. Feeling those biceps work. We've got about 10 seconds. Shake it out. Getting ready to go again. All right, let's grab our dumbbells. We've got three seconds. Let's do it. Squeeze it up. Control it down. All the way down to all the way up. Get full range of motion to make sure you're working that muscle completely. Over halfway, keep it strong. Keep the form, keep the focus. Oh my goodness, last one. Come on, last time. And you got it, nice job. Now, time to work the abs. Optional, you can use dumbbells for this if you'd like as well. But for this exercise, we're gonna work just the right side, then we're gonna switch it over for the left. So each ab exercise, you only get one chance. So really make it count. We're gonna do that right leg crunch. Here we go. And pull, good. Extend out, and then really think about contracting your oblique muscles as you squeeze. So hold it for a second, get that contraction, and then let it back down. Good. You're halfway. Almost there. Really squeeze. Oh. Awesome working standing abs to challenge your abs in a new way. Last one, good. So again, my goal is to always give you new challenges to help you keep changing, to help you keep getting stronger. So we're working it all standing today. Next exercise, same thing, opposite side. So we're gonna really extend and then tuck. Oh. Here we go and squeeze. You could even put your hand here, feel those obliques contracting. Sometimes when you can feel the muscles working, it helps you think about it even more. And squeeze. Good. Slight bend in the knee for that leg that is taking most of the weight. Almost there. We've got just a couple reps left. Last one, pull, squeeze, good, and extend. Okay, now we get a little bit of a longer break because this is your halfway mark. So we've worked the front of the arms, time to work the back of the arms, and then we're gonna hit the abs again to finish out. We are going into a tricep overhead extension. You can use one, one or two dumbbells on this one. I just prefer to use one because when I use two, my hair tends to get stuck in that. So a heavy enough weight, we still have 20 seconds before we go. So shaking it out for your tricep overhead extension. A couple of things, go heavy enough. Keep your elbows tucked in to your temples. So think about that all the way down and all the way up. So let's get ready to go. We've got three seconds and here we go. Exhale as you press back up towards the sky. Good, keeping that core nice and strong as well. So hips are tucked under. Whew, nice. The bicep and tricep combo, I love it. I love working the opposing muscle groups like this. Last one, nice. Makes me feel like the arms have got like, oh, like, they are done for the day once I work these two muscle groups. 10 seconds, we go again. Same exercise, if you can go heavier, I'm gonna challenge you. Pick that heavier weight up and go for it. We've got just 40 seconds of work. So let's really make it count. And the timer is on. We are pushing, we are working, and you are rocking it. 
Ooh, good. Over halfway. The arms are getting shaky, but you're still focusing on form. You're still focusing on the full range of motion. Last one, all the way up. Okay, we made it. All right, I'm telling you what, if you did the kettlebell workout that we just had, arms are still a little bit shaky from that one. We are going into tricep kickbacks now, so you will need two dumbbells for this one. So when you have those, grab them, we're gonna hinge it over, back is flat, core engaged, arms up, and let's begin. Keep those arms up nice and close, pinned into your sides. I want you to hold it at the top just for a second. And exhale, good. Breathing over halfway. You've got just a few reps left. So keep it strong, keep those elbows, or those arms nice and close to your sides. Last one, up, ooh, and down. Good, shake it out if you need to. This is getting it, the arms are feeling good. All right, 10 seconds, we gotta go again. Last time through for this. So again, I'm just gonna keep reminding you because it's gonna help you get stronger. If you can go heavier, grab it and let's go for it. <sighs> Timer is set, here we go. <sighs> Squeeze, good. <sighs> Slight bend in your knees. Exhale with the lift. Remember, get it up for just a second and then control it back in. Almost there. Last one. Up and in. Amazing. All right, this time we are going to do a single arm. So we're gonna do an alternating tricep overhead extension where we're gonna keep the arms straight up in the air. So this time you will need two dumbbells but we're gonna alternate sides, keeping those arms up towards the sky. So we've gotta go. Well, here we go, last tricep exercise. Keep it nice and close and up. Switch sides. New challenge here because we are working one arm and it makes a difference. And press, good. You have to think about different things here. You gotta think about keeping your balance as that one arm is moving. And then also keeping that other arm nice and strong. Almost there. And up, one more each side, one more each side. Keep those elbows tucked in. Good, last one. Down all the way. And up, Ooh, we rest it out. Short recovery, last time through, this is it for triceps. So make sure you are going all in. 15 minutes goes by fast, but you can seriously make it count. So bring it up, arms up straight. Here we go, alternating down. And up, good, keep the wrist straight as well. Over halfway. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Arms are shaking. We're gonna finish out strong with abs. One more to make sure we're even. Last one, down. Nice, okay. Bring it down. Next, we are going into a standing bicycle crunch. So we're gonna take that opposite elbow to the opposite knee. When you do this, really think about contracting. Exhale with the crunch. That's gonna help you engage those abs even more. So here we go. So crunch and squeeze. Good, really get that twist and hold it. 
Good. Squeeze. Almost there. A few more reps. We've got just about 10 seconds. Last one here and squeeze. Okay. One more ab exercise. This one, we're really gonna target the obliques. We're gonna do a side to side bend. So if you want dumbbells for this one, grab it. So just a light grip on the dumbbells. We're gonna go side to side. Here we go. So down, squeeze and pull back up. Good. So make sure with this exercise that you're not falling forward or leaning too far back. You wanna think about being in between two walls and you're just sliding down just a little bit and up, down and pull. So right here, we're pulling back up. That helps contract those obliques, keeping the abs nice and strong. So squeezing the, the core throughout this exercise. Last one down. Oh, and squeeze. There we go. That is standing arms and abs. And we are shaking. You rocked it. I'm so glad you joined me for this 15 minutes. Now, do not forget a nice stretch is going to feel amazing after this. So of course that is right there for you. And I want to say thank you so much for joining me. I love you.